Hey guys, so we're going to take a look at how to verify your Play Console developer account now. This is something new that came out from Google recently and um, it's my first time going through it so, you know, bear with me. Um, this is what you will get, I think, 60 days prior to the date that you picked for your um, verification date or whatever you call it. So my deadline is August 5th. So I have this link here, start verification. I'm going to go to my Google Play developer account and let's see the email again. I'm going to need a DUNS number, which I, I have a phone number and email address for Google to contact you. A phone number and I just, yeah, got it. Official docu document to verify my identity and organization. Okay, so I'm going to need all this stuff. Let's get started. Uh, confirm your account type. Uh, what confirm whether your account is an organization or for personal use. Uh, okay, so let's hit the start button here. It's an organization. Next, uh, link a payments profile to verify your organization. To verify this, you need to link a Google payments profile. If you don't have a payments profile, you can create one. Um, our apps are free. I don't know why they want me to create a payment profile. Uh, create a payment profile. Okay. Um, let's just use this one because um, I already have one. Didn't even know that. Okay, so my DUNS number is now here. So let's grab this DUNS number. I just got it from Dun Bradstreet. You can go into their website and you can um, request your DUNS number. Exactly nine digits. Okay, there's a space there. That's why. Okay, that's my DUNS number. information okay yeah that's my that's fine confirm you're all set got it you successfully updated your payments profile which you've done at Bad Street okay good that looks fine hit next um, organization type we are a company or a business organization size that's easy um, 100 there's my phone number that's the website. Hit next. That's me. Uh, contact address. That's fine. Do I need to verify this? We'll only use this to contact you. Okay. We'll just wait for that code to come in. My language, my phone number. Okay, verify my phone number. We just sent you a text message. Uh, choose call me to verify by voice. Call me. So. Hang on, bear with me. Okay, so I got my codes. I have verified them. I've entered my codes, verified my phone number and my email address. Hit next. Developer, you can provide a different phone number for app support queries. Uh, I don't need to do that. I don't think we need to do that, so I'm gonna skip that. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Details is part of your developer profile. Um, you can provide, you can provide a different phone number for app support queries for each of your apps in the store settings. Um, I don't want a different phone number. God, six, eight, five, eight, nine, five, four, and developer email. I'll stick with the original. This is the original stuff that I had and see if they accept it. Um, enter about Google plus. Can't make this any more difficult, can I? Uh, eight, five, five. Okay, let's try my other phone number. All right, it didn't accept hyphens, so I was able to verify number again and uh, uh, email again. So let's move on. I think you can use the same information as before. All right, review your public developer profile, organization name, correct, email address, right. I can send to Google showing this information. Okay, click that. Okay, so that's there. Um, hit save, let's see what happens next. Um, that's it. Google is processing the information. So I guess that's it. So let's see if uh, anything else happens. I will do an update follow-up video uh, for this as well, but it uh, looks like we're just answering some questions um, for, the, for the most part. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.